seven, six, green board, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine start and liftoff of the Delta rocket with Deep Space One, testing the spacecraft technologies of the next century. Deep Space One is, of course, the first flight of the new Millennium program, and the purpose of the program is to flight test high-risk, high-payoff technologies that are important for NASA's future space and Earth science missions. So it's an important and I think exciting mission, and of course we're here today to talk about some of the results from it, which I believe are quite remarkable. What we're really seeing here amounts to a flying laboratory for testing the advanced technologies in the kind of environment that they're destined for in future missions. And so Deep Space One is taking the risks so that these future missions don't have to. And this is very much what the spacecraft looks like right now. And perhaps what's most striking is this blue glow that we're about to fly through here that's caused by what may be our most, most important technology, ion propulsion, which is designed to provide fast and flexible access to the solar system for missions of the future. And the reality of ion propulsion is that it's 10 times more efficient than chemical propulsion. That is, it takes one-tenth as much propellant to push the spacecraft around. The ion engine pushes on the spacecraft about as hard as this piece of paper is pushing on my hand. Yet over time, the effect of the thrust really builds up. And we've now operated the ion engine for 54 days on Deep Space One, and that's enough to have changed the spacecraft speed by 1,200 miles per hour. So it's what I like to call acceleration with patience.